Bahamas Nurses Union President Amancha Williams threatens a strike if members aren't paid what's owed to them by December 2022's payday. In a release obtained by Eyewitness News, a disgruntled member of the union expresses that while Cuban nurses brought in to assist the depleting number of Bahamian nurses in country are being paid on time, Bahamian nurses haven't been paid for over a year. The next step is that I have a strike certificate, and they're maybe trying to take away the little power that the union have is only a strike certificate. They're only blocking the blocking from the tribunal, from the labor department. Tell them what to see a man to because I... My one of the president I showed what you were supposed to be like. The union received a strike certificate back in June after conducting a strike vote earlier that month. Fast forward to now, Williams says she experiences this problem with salaries every year when dealing with new nurses. This gives a bad feeling, a bad look on what the job offers. I can't keep nurses like this. When they go to the state, they get paid, their families put them to school, their husband finds jobs. And these nurses get university uh, certificates, certifications, and stuff free. They don't have to wait a year. The nurses, I've had five registered nurses in the Department of Public Health not being paid for a whole year. On top of that, Williams also adds that two clinical nurses have also not been paid over a year. And as health officials scramble to keep nurses in country, Williams says scores of nurses have left this year alone. I've lost uh, probably over, um, with everybody, probably about 60, 70 nurses and counting for the various institutions. I mean, you probably, Sandlin, you probably had like 20 or between 20 and 10 persons, and, you know, you got to count from every area. Okay, okay. and the whole area, you probably have lost about about 50 to 60 nurses. Not that these nurses here wants to leave, you know. It's because of the way we do business, especially in DPH. This as Health and Wellness Minister Dr. Michael Darville told reporters earlier this month that they're in need of 30 specialty nurses, adding that health officials must find ways to keep the country's nurses at home, quote, by offering better packages and incentives. As other countries like the United States, the United Kingdom and Canada try to recruit them. Darville tells us tonight that the ministry is working on processing the payments. Now, I will reach back out to Madam President of the Union, discuss these individuals, and work very closely with her and peer role to resolve uh, the outstanding uh, situation with the remaining nurses who may not be on the existing payroll. But I want to make it very clear that the list was forwarded to our financial officer who ensured that all of those who met the requirements in order for us to pay, uh, their pay will be reflected on this month's uh, pay sheet. Darvel adds that between 10 and 12 nurses will receive those funds this pay cycle, and health officials will come back to the table to sort out those who remain. But one nurse who is being delayed is significant because they have families, and it puts them at a great disadvantage. You know, Some of them have children, some of them have their own personal obligation. And sometimes the stipend that they receive is not adequate to meet what is necessary. But we do, we do uh, uh, feel the pain, particularly for those who may not show up on the pay sheet. Uh, but that has nothing to do with clerics. We have our certain guidelines from the Ministry of Finance for who we can pay from who we can pay, and they have to meet that criteria. But all who met the criteria, I can assure you that they will show up on this month's pay sheet, which I think is on Monday. Leah Cooper, Eyewitness News.